anal sphincter is such an amazing, amazing thing. Because it's like, it has to Which control one? liquid, solid, and gas. Yeah. And it has to sort of at some point figure out how do I let out one of those three things without the other two. Like, we have nothing we can and, make that does like, that. like, gravity is saying oh. everything at once. Right. Everything's headed this way. So and just like, blah, 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 blah. Yet still, the body pulls it off all the time. Most of the time, the body pulls it off. It's yeah. amazing. When I took anatomy and physiology, one, my, my professor said to me a phrase that I will never forget. We're not really sure what the rectum does. And I was like, really? <laughs> it's sort of like a packaging plant. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is amazing to think about how the body can do that. I mean, you've got all that stuff down there, and it can selectively choose, most of the time, selectively choose sort of which of those. Well, you can't choose. No. You can know. I'm, I can't, like, sit here and be like, okay, now I'm going to fart. Now I'm going to poop. Now I'm going to fart. No. <laughs> I can't I, choose. I, well, I like to think some people can. I don't know, maybe no one I think, You don't remember anymore. <laughs> I don't know. But it's like, yeah. <laughs> that I like to think that some people are like, oh, I can fart right now without pooping. Or, the, uh, you know, I don't yeah. think you can poop without farting. I don't think you can do that. Well, you can't choose, choose to, saying, but choose. it can happen. Yes. I'm sure that it occurs occasionally. I like to think that some people can be like, I'm going to just squeak out this fart and yet not poop my pants. <laughs> yes, many people can do that. I believe that. Yes. Can I read the abstract proposal for that study? What <laughs> <laughs> NSF, what does the butthole do? What are buttholes for? I once read, and this, this might be total bullshit, that it receptor cells in in the rectum that could tell if liquid was present. And I don't know if that's true or if you can just sort of feel the difference between a fart. Like, you just learn as a child when you're being potty trained the difference between, like, a, a fart feel and a poop feel. So there has to be something to that because when kids are born rarely without innervation of the rectum, it's a real problem. I don't know what that meant. So when they are born and they don't have proper nerves running into their... Uh, into all the way down, it's, it's Hirschsprung's disease. And actually, you just back up. Like, they never, they can't figure out to go. Oh. It's a real serious problem. So there probably is something to that, that the well, way that it is innervated, the way that the nerves go in there, make a big difference. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely Look, a, some I was kind being of... being serious, all of a sudden, it got so quiet. Here. Yeah, but I mean, there's definitely it's, something to the positive feedback loop yeah. of pooping, where, like, like, it's like some, like, if once the button gets pushed, it's like, I'm opening up now. Yep. Get to the place. Yep. Go, to, go to the hole where you go. Human mammal thing. Oh, it has to be. Yes. Yeah. No. I, I feel like we're having our own conversation at this point. Sorry. <laughs> yes, this is the colitis couch. Uh, we have a different relationship with our buttholes. Anyway, how's your poopers? Oh, mine's pretty good. Yeah, same. Works fine. Do we want to share our pooping your pants stories? I mean, we have a little bit of time. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, so when we went to Peru with the Field Museum for filming, mm -hmm. you know, we had our rabies vaccines and our other vaccines and whatever, and they give you, you know, uh, antibiotics in case you get sick. And they're like, you'll know when you need to start taking the antibiotic. And I'm like, no, but like, should I take it when I feel a little like this one day? And they're like, no, you will know when you need to start taking that antibiotic. And so we're like helicoptered into the middle of the jungle and essentially left there. And there were no toilets. There were just holes dug in the ground that you had to like squat over and there was a tarp you could put up for decency. So I went out because I was going to go for a walk on a day and I felt pretty good. And I was walking for maybe 10 minutes before I just like shit my pants. Just like, it's just, there was no warning. There was no <laughs> feedback loop. There was no, this might be liquid. It was just, I was just walking in the jungle and like, I think I was like vlogging like at the time. <laughs> And, oh my God, I have to find this footage. But it was just like a moment where like my expression just changed and then I just, the camera goes off and I just, I had just shit my pants. And like that's when I knew, oh, I should start taking those antibiotics. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this snippet of Holy Fucking Science. If you would like more, you can see the full episode at youtube.com slash holyfuckingscience. That's right. Holy Fucking Science is a podcast about science that is not for children. It contains mild violence, swearing, alcohol consumption, and sometimes the science isn't super vetted, so don't share it in the classroom. For more Holy Fucking Science, we are on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Play Music, also other places where you might be able to find podcasts. Thank you for watching.